In this video, I'll explain how to distinguish a thermal from dynamic lift, so you can decide if you should spiral into a thermal or stay close to the mountain for dynamic lift. First, let's remember that dynamic flight involves using the wind that hits a mountain or a ridge and rises along its face. We use this upward wind by flying parallel to the mountain or cliff. On the other hand, in thermal flight, we take advantage of rising air currents known as thermals, which are generated by the heating of the ground. Certain areas on the ground heat up more than others, causing thermals to rise. The most efficient way to use these thermals is by making 360 degree turns within them, which we call spiraling into a thermal. Now, what happens when we have both wind and thermals? Usually, we can either stay close to the mountain to use dynamic wind lift or move away a bit to search for thermals. Depending on the flying area, one or the other may be more efficient. If you're taking off with little altitude, I recommend taking advantage of dynamic wind lift first, as it's easier to know where you can climb. Then, once you've gained a good amount of altitude, try searching for thermals as these might be located away from the mountain. Sometimes these thermals stick close to the mountain and can be confused with the dynamic wind lift. This confusion leads many pilots to not know whether they are in a thermal or simply flying in dynamic wind lift. This creates uncertainty about whether to spiral or keep flying parallel to the mountain. Here are some tips to help you identify if you're ascending in a thermal or simply in dynamic wind lift. Tip one, how far are you from the ocean? The ocean acts like a natural radiator stabilizing the atmosphere. It's hard for thermals to form near the sea. If you're flying over a mountain or cliff by the ocean, forget about thermals and focus on dynamic flight. Tip two, time of day. Since thermals are created by temperature differences, the hottest hours of the day are when most thermals form. This is typically between 10 a.m. and 2 p.m. During this time, the lift you're experiencing is more likely to be thermal rather than wind-generated. On the other hand, if you're flying in the late afternoon or near sunset, around 5 p.m. or 6 p.m. with cooler temperatures, conditions are probably more dynamic.